So I wasn't planning on doing a video today, but apparently DeAndre Baker is in quite a bit of trouble here. So I just got a notification that him and the former Redskins cornerback Quentin Dunbar are being accused of armed robbery. And that cannot be a good thing. That definitely has prison time written all over it. Hopefully I'm wrong, but you know, reading into the story and from TMZ Sports, it does not look good so far. Apparently these two lost some money. They tried getting it back. Things got ugly and now there's warrants out for their arrest. So we'll get into some quotes from uh, the TMZ Sports article. All right, so here's the main part of the story according to the article. So it says, according to police, the two men were partying in Miramar, Florida, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, on May 13th when things took a disturbing turn. Cops say Baker and Dunbar were allegedly hanging at a cookout playing cards and video games when an argument broke out. Baker whipped out a semi-automatic firearm. Cops say the men began to rob party guests with Dunbar assisting in taking watches and other valuables at the direction of Baker. So you're probably asking yourself why they would do this. So it says, our sources tell us that the men had lost the money in high stakes card games and other forms of gambling. One witness told cops that they met with Baker and Dunbar at a party a few days earlier in Miami at which the players had lost around $70,000. So therefore, they tried taking Rolexes and just Hublots and other type of high-priced jewelry and stuff like that. And apparently, they made out with a lot of money coming away from that robbery. Of course, they were caught, so it didn't work. But they came away with uh, $7,000 in cash, $18,000 in Rolex, $25,000 Hublot, and some other stuff as well. So they tried making their money back that way. That did not work, obviously. So um, it's a crappy situation, to say the least. And I mean, DeAndre Baker is, I'd be surprised if he's ever a giant ever again. I, at this point, it's going to be surprising if he's in the, in the NFL ever again. Um, we've seen it happen before. I mean, Mike Vick comes to mind, but that's a whole different thing. I mean, you know, dogfighting and armed robberies are not really the same type of crime. So he is facing four charges of armed robbery and four charges of aggravated assault with a firearm. I'm not going to pretend like I know what that means. I'm not, I didn't go to law school and, or not law school, but like um, criminal justice and stuff. I don't know that type of stuff. So that's not really in my, uh, in my wheelhouse, but I'm assuming that means you're probably going to end up going to prison. It has nothing good um, about it. And Quentin Dunbar was a pretty good player for Washington. He actually had two interceptions against us last year. So I don't know why these guys did this. I mean, you know, I guess they gambled and they got desperate. Things went wrong and just it's it's terrible for the Giants. I mean, this guy was taken in the first round. They traded up for him a little over a year ago in the first round, I think 30th overall. And to see this happen to such a young player, he's 22 years old. I mean, people would absolutely kill to be in his position. And then he just throws it all away. Like you hate seeing that stuff with athletes. And I know he struggled last year with, uh, you know, falling asleep in meetings and not knowing the playbook, but he showed some flashes of being a good NFL corner one day and now we might never see it at least for you know the foreseeable future so it's it's terrible but the Giants uh, you know fortunately for them have other guys behind them um, or behind him I should say I mean Julian Love is there of course they signed James Bradbury in the offseason hopefully a healthy Sam Beal can do something um, trying to see who else we have on the depth chart that I'm forgetting right now Julian Love you could put Xavier McKinney outside if you had to that's probably not what they're going to do um, you know Corey Ballantyne Darnay Holmes Chris Williamson the guy from Minnesota in the seventh round so there's some guys here but they're not too deep at uh, cornerback now so you know people will talk about Logan Ryan who's still out there who you know it, it came out a couple of days ago or maybe yesterday that he, that he was going to go to the Jets and then it came out this morning that he's not going to go to the Jets now and there's still some things that they have to work on. So if the Giants are desperate to get some talent in the door here, I can see them getting Logan Ryan. Um, you know, he has his ups and downs as a player, but he was a solid player for the Titans for a lot of years. And, of course, going back to the Patriots, I'm sure he was uh, had some type of connection with Joe Judge because, you know, he played under him for at least a few years in New England. So it is a possibility. I'm not sure if they want to go that route or they want to give the uh, the younger guys like Julian Love and Ballantyne and those type of guys and Sam Beal, if they want to give them some, you know, a starting role, that's definitely possible. But I would not be surprised now if they went out and got another veteran corner. I'm not sure what the Giants cap situation is. Um, um, if they can terminate Baker's contract, which you know could happen, I guess, in the near future, then I guess that opens up some more cap room for them. But I don't really know who's still out there besides um, 
besides Logan Ryan. So I don't know what they're going to do about it. I guess they could survive with what they have now, but it's it's terrible because DeAndre Baker, as a lot of us said, even in the podcast and stuff, what we did with Chris uh, last week, he is the X factor, or he was the X factor of this defense, DeAndre Baker. Now to see him, you know, it's not like he tore his ACL and he'll be back next year. It's like we, we don't know when we're seeing this guy. So this whole situation is it's awful. It's crappy. I did not want to hear about it, but, you know, here we are. So it's not good for a team that, you know, has been big about culture the last couple of years. And, you know, DeAndre Baker always had a look about him that he's like up to no good. And I can't really hold that against him. And, you know, he had a cocky attitude and stuff, which I like from a cornerback. That's fine. But I never thought, you know, it, it would go to this level. So I mean, this, this is very shocking to me. And uh, it sucks. I, I just hope that, you know, even beyond football, that he hopefully can make it out on the other side as compared to what he just recently did. I'm sure he realizes now it was a very bad idea and probably should not have done it, but hopefully, you know, he turns his life around after this. And, uh, you know, I'm sure more details and reports will come out about this in the near future. This is like an instant reaction. It literally came out, I think, like less than a half hour ago. So more stuff will come out. Um, I guess we'll touch on that in the future. So, It sucks, but I don't know what the future holds for him. And as for the Giants, they could go out and sign a veteran. They don't necessarily have to. You know, right now, you need two cornerbacks on the outside, and, of course, you need some depth pieces as well. Right now, you would have Bradbury on the outside. Their second cornerback, I guess, is Sam Beal. I want to see Julian Love play next year at outside cornerback. They try to put him at safety and inside or nickel corner. Didn't go as well as it probably could have. I mean, he was fine at safety. I'll admit that, but... I don't think Nickel Corner is Julian Love's position, honestly. He did tell us that he's fine playing anywhere, but I do want to see him play outside because that's what he was good at in college. So, like, why not do it in the NFL? So that's what I want to see. And, um, you know, they have him, Sam Beal, and James Bradbury. So we'll see what they do with those those guys. They could add somebody else. It might not be, like, a high-profile Logan Ryan-type signing. It could be something low-key. I think, um, what's his name, Justin Bethel still out there who worked with Joe Judge last year from the Patriots. He's more of a special teams guy, but he's still a, a death piece at cornerback. So that's an option, I believe. So we'll see. I mean, let me know in the comments some free agents out there that you would want at cornerback. I personally am not aware right now. I did not look at the the free agent list but maybe that's a a future video for me so we'll we'll talk about that in the future i guess but yeah bad situation didn't want to talk about it but you know things happen and here we are so hopefully deandre baker can get his life straightened out after this stuff but uh but yeah i'll talk to you guys next time and thank you for watching (music) 